Hey everyone, it's Carl Brown from GuitarLessons365.com. Today we're going to take a look at the Beatles' Blackbird. Now this is a kind of a Paul McCartney pin tune, and he plays this, uh, sings and, and plays this on acoustic guitar by himself. Um, it's kind of a got an interesting layout. So what I'm going to do first, before I show you the, the sections of the song on guitar, I'm going to tell you the order that all the sections are going to go, going to go in. So make sure you write this down, just so you fully understand what we're going to be doing. There's going to be six parts in all, like if you guitar parts in all, that are arranged across the song. Some of them repeat, some of them don't. So let me just go through it real quick, um, where all those sections are going to be in what order. The song starts with the intro. Then from there it goes to the verse, then the turnaround, back to the verse, and from there we go to the chorus. So, so far we have intro, verse, turnaround, verse, chorus. Then we go back to the verse again, but this time it's the same guitar part, but he's not going to be singing over it, so it's an instrumental um, version of the verse. Then we go back to the chorus, and then to the bridge. From the bridge, we go back to the verse again, and then to the outro. So all that happens in a little over 12, uh, like, it's like 2 minutes and 12 seconds or so. So, um, of all those parts, you'll see there's six different parts there. Obviously, it goes through a lot of different sections, so I'm going to repeat. In this first video, we're going to take a look at the intro, the verse, and the turnaround. And in the second lesson, we're going to take a look at the chorus, the bridge, and the outro. All right? So we're in standard tuning here, and let me ta uh, play through the intro real quick. Pretty short. That's all it is to it. So let's, uh, we have a couple picking patterns there, and um, the last one that I played is definitely the most important. It's used 95% through this song. So let's go, let's start down here at the beginning of the verse, I mean the intro. We have your third finger at the third fret on the sixth string, and you're going to pick that with your thumb, and at the same time you're going to hit this open B string, the second string, with your index finger. So hit those together. Then I want you to brush the third string and the second string together with the back of your index finger. Then we're going to come over to the next chord and do the same thing on it. We're going to have your first finger at the uh, first fret on the second string, the B string. And you're going to pick this time with your thumb the open A string, which is going to be the fifth string. So pick those two strings together. Remember the second string is picked with your index finger. And then you brush those two strings again. Then we're going to come up to this next chord, which is your second finger at the uh, I'm sorry, the second fret on the A string, and then the third fret on the B string. And then do the same picking pattern you did in the previous chord. So we have pretty simple. So it's just the same picking pattern done three times, which is just two hits. Now let's stay on these, keep your fingers on the same two strings, but we're going to move up to the 10th fret with your first finger and the 12th fret on the B string with your pinky. And now we, we've made it to the other picking pattern, the mo most important one. All right, so you're going to notice when he's playing, you're going to hear some uh, like some a popping sound going on with it. That is his feet, and he's taking his left foot, then his right foot, and going back and forth. That's why the popping sounds sound different each time. But you can see there's some good videos on the internet that you can see him actually doing practicing recording this, and it's his feet hitting the ground. So if you want to recreate that that sound that you hear popping with it, it's not on the guitar; it's with your feet. So um, let's now take a look at this pattern. The first thing you need to know about this pattern is it's kind of a loose pattern. It's an unorthodox way of doing finger picking. So what you need to do is mute the strings around the ones that you want heard because if you don't, you're going to have a lot of extra noise. So before we do the actual pattern, I'm going to show you how I'm muting. My pinky is playing on the second uh, string at the 12th fret, but I'm letting the bottom of it mute that high E string. Okay? The third string is allowed to ring open. 
the fourth string is going to be muted by the bottom of my index finger. Just barely touches it. And the index finger is also going to go past the A string and touch the bottom of the sixth string. So those notes are muted. So when, when you strum all six strings, only ones you're going to hear is the fifth string, that open third string, and that pinky at the twelfth fret on the B string. So you need that muting wherever we move these chord shapes to. You need that muting to stay consistent so you can keep all the other strings um, quiet. Now let's look at the pattern. The picking pattern is going to look like, is going to sound like this. All right, so what's going on there? I'm starting the picking pattern out by picking the fifth string with my thumb and the my index finger is going to pick the second string. Then I'm going to brush the second string and the third string with a down stroke with my index finger and then back with an up stroke. So get it, hit it way down, and then back up. So we have... That's half of the pattern. The next half is going to pick the fifth string by itself with the thumb. And then we're going to reverse that pattern that we did before, which was down up before. Now we're going to pick the thumb here, and then go the same pattern, but up, down. So, but you're hitting the same strings, the second and third string. So we have the first time is down, up, up, down. All right. So that intro, you just basically go. You play that entire picking pattern we just learned twice when you get with that 10th fret. And then we go to the verse. Now the verse, I'm going to play through it slowly for you. It's a lot more involved than the intro. We start it the same way that we did the intro. Now we come down to the same shape that we're holding here at the 10th fret, but down at the 3rd fret. So your first finger is at the 3rd fret, and your pinky is at the 5th fret on the B string. Picking pattern is going to be a little bit different here because we have um, to skip some strings here with the picking. We can't hit an open 2nd string anymore. So just for this little chromatic movement he does. You're going to pick first the A string with your thumb and then the B string with your index finger. And then come over and hit your index finger on the G string as well. So just let it move over to the G. Pretty simple. Now we're going to move to these two outside notes, which is your fourth fret on the A string and then the third fret on the high E string. You're going to pick that high E string with your index finger still. Then come over and still hit that G string by itself with your index. So we have... Now move everything up two frets and do the exact same thing again, starting from the fifth fret. Alright, now we've made it to the next chord, which is... So we have this at the 7th fret on the A string, and then the 8th fret on the B string. And we did the full picking pattern. I call that the full picking pattern, the one that we did at the end of the intro here, at the 10th fret. You do that whole thing once, the whole picking pattern, and then move your first finger back to the 6th fret, leave your pinky where it's at, and do that full picking pattern again. Now we're going to come back from to the 5 on the A and the 7 on the B and do the picking pattern where you hit the A and the B string together and then hit the 3rd string by itself because we're going backwards with that chromatic pattern. 
So we have the five and seven and the third string open. Now you're, you're once again here at the A string of the fourth fret and then the third fret on the high E. And then pick that G string after it. All right, and now we're back here at the third fret uh, on the A and the fifth fret on the B. Now that is gonna be the full picking pattern again once. Still letting that open G ring and muting all the other strings. Then move your pinky back one fret. It's really cool sounding. So we have. And then move the entire shape back one fret now. we're going to have just your second finger here at the second fret on the B string. Same picking pattern we did before, but you got to be really careful. You got to make sure you mute that high E string uh, with the bottom of your second finger. Same picking pattern done once. Now move your first finger over to the uh, first fret on the second string. And the picking pattern is just going to change slightly now. The bass note is now going to be on the fourth string, the open D. The strumming string is you're still strumming the second and third string with your um, index finger and picking it by itself to start. But now that open D string is what's played with your thumb. And then come back over to the G chord that we started the song with do the picking pattern in full there. So we have Okay? So that's the entire verse and you're going to play that a few times in this song. So um, now the first time he plays the verse, he does a second verse right after it. But in order to do that, he has to add a, what we call a turnaround to make sure he can smoothly get back vocally and melody-wise back to the beginning of the verse again. Since he had just ended it, he needed like a little, little musical phrase to do it. And how he does it is basically repeats, uh, this is the turnaround by the way, this is basically repeating the very last little bit of the verse. So we have like the same, it was repeating the same chords of this. Okay, so that's the same chord here at the 3rd fret on the A string, 5th fret on the B. It's the simplified pattern now, which is the two outside strings, the 5th string and the B string, with just one brush of the downstroke on the 2nd, the 3rd string. We're going to skip that little 3-4 uh, here. And just move right down to the 2nd fret on the A and the 3rd the fret on the B. And that same little simplified pattern. Now we come back to that chord where we have your second finger here at the second string, second fret. With the open A string, full pattern now. And then the D version of that. With the open D string in your finger at the first fret. Then down to the G chord. So we got. So coming out of the first verse. Okay, just simple like that. Just kind of go around. Uh, it's They're very similar parts, all right? So in this next lesson, we're going to take a look at the chorus, the bridge, and the outro. So stay tuned for that.